Valentine's Day has become almost synonymous with love itself and is now one of the most important days for marketers. The day is marked with an outpouring of affection, not only between sweethearts but also amongst friends, family and even pets. Schools often host Valentine's Day parties for children who exchange cards and enjoy treats. In the United States, Valentine's Day is a grand celebration of love and affection. It's an opportunity for marketers to capitalize on the tradition of gift giving. Traditional gifts like heart-shaped chocolates and red roses remain popular, and marketers use creative packaging and promotions to stand out in the competitive market. Also, American marketers often promote romantic getaways, couples experiences, and themed events to create lasting memories. Valentine's Day marketing in the US is expanding with promotions like Galentine's Day to celebrate women's friendship and self-love campaigns. Since I'm a Brazilian Japanese marketer living in the US, it's interesting to compare the differences between the approaches of the three countries. You might be surprised to learn that February 14th is usually just another day in Brazil. Instead, Brazilians celebrate Dia dos Namorados or Lover's Day on June 12th. On the eve of St. Anthony's Day, known in the country for blessing young couples with prosperous marriages, love fills the Brazilian air. This date is strategically aligned with the holiday season and colder weather, making it perfect for cozy celebrations. Similar to the US, gift-giving is a common practice. Typically, couples exchange romantic gifts, such as chocolates or flowers, and they may also share a date night. The Brazilian version of Valentine's Day can include celebrations, music, parties and decorations, as Brazilians often take any opportunity to enjoy life. It can also include some local rituals about finding a good partner, and it's much more romantic or sexual in nature. It's usually not a strong day for friends, classmates or co-workers, unless there is at least a romantic interest. But why is the day celebrated on June 12th in Brazil? That started because of an advertising campaign. Joao Doria, an advertising executive, launched a campaign in June 1949 with the idea that kisses are not enough to show love, couples should also gift each other. Since then, the day became important to celebrate love, especially for couples. Our final destination takes us to the Far East, to Japan. Valentine's Day in Japan is a two-part celebration. On February 14th, women give chocolates to men, a tradition known as giri choco or obligation chocolate. But don't worry, there's also honmei choco, the chocolate given to express genuine love. Still, the boys usually don't do much on Valentine's Day. They may receive chocolates depending on how popular they are, but they typically don't give chocolates to the girls. A month later, on March 14th known as White Day, men reciprocate the gesture. The White Day was also implemented through a campaign. While marketers can see couples giving a variety of gifts in other countries, chocolates are really the focus in Japan. Expressing feelings toward people has been a challenge in Japan for a long time, and giving chocolates became a way to show feelings like love, friendship, and respect indirectly. As such, there are many unwritten rules and meanings behind the different types of chocolates to express different feelings. The value of the gift and the chocolate being handmade can be very important, but hard for a foreigner to interpret all the nuances. To summarize, while the United States celebrates Valentine's Day with a more universal expression of love, Brazil's Dia dos Namorados is more focused on romantic love or physical intimacy. In Japan, the celebration is split into two days, with a unique emphasis on gift-giving using chocolates full of meanings, based on the affection and feeling communicated. So, the next time you're penning a Valentine's Day card or unwrapping a chocolate, remember that the language of love may be universal, but its expression is beautifully diverse.